the uh, markets are still pulling back very indecisively. The Dow is actually up two points today, right about where it opened. So as you can see, the pullback with a lot of dozies isn't is demonstrated there isn't any real dramatic selling pressure. With a strong up move and an indecisive pullback, that's usually the preamble to the next wave to the upside. Knowing that allows the candlestick investor to be prepared for which sectors or which stocks are going to act the best in the next move. Labu, the uh, biotech bullish 3TF, or 3 leveraged ETF, showing you that there's still an uptrend, which means this allows the candlestick investor to find the best stocks in that sector, knowing that if the market starts moving up, this sector's moving up, you can go and identify which of those stocks have the strongest chart patterns, which allows you to put all your stars in alignment. Everything's moving in the right direction. If the market in general is not selling off, doing simple scanning techniques allows the investor to find the best possible reversal signals. For example, FGP today had a huge, what we call left-right combo. A doji followed by a big bullish engulfing signal. Look at all the elements of this chart. One, a big reversal signal. Two, the big reversal signal occurred at the same place you had another strong reversal signal, the morning star signal over here. What's that illustrate? That now you probably had the bulls back in control doing a double bottom, which makes the probabilities of this trade uh, moving in the right direction extremely strong. Or you also can scan and identify which patterns are setting up for the next price pattern, such as a J-hook pattern. SQ, big pop-up, consolidation. Notice what happened when it got back here to the T-line. Doji, doji, hammer, doji, all indecisive trading. And notice the one key element. They couldn't close it below the T-line. This makes positive trading tomorrow a good place to be buying. Because the very simple factor is, if this is wave one, that should be the same magnitude as wave three. And if this trade fails, we know that if it closed back below the T-line, we'd want to be right back out of the trade. So you may have a, uh, a 15, 20 cent downside where your upside potential could be another $4 to the upside. Being able to identify what usually occurs in investor sentiment allows an investor to put their money in situations where the probabilities of being right is extremely strong. And candlestick charts allows for the evaluation of how strong that price move might be. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.